What's up everybody, this is Oliver with Cinema Abroad. And today, you're gonna see an inside tour of one of the RVs at the encampments. And I had the pleasure of talking to Mario and Joe. Um, you know, they gave me some good insights. Um, so glad that I got the opportunity to show you guys what it looks like inside the RVs that are parked along the streets of Los Angeles. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And also I wanna mention, I did ask for permission before I ever started recording. So I'm having a new approach to this thing, right? Like when I was down in Skid Row, I just started recording. And I feel like that could be getting into some people's space because we gotta think about places like that. This is their neighborhood, okay? So yes, even though by law you can record whatever you want in public, you know, I wanted to give these two, Mario and Joe, the courtesy of me uh, asking them first uh, about an interview and, and for the house and for the RV tour or his house tour. So they both agreed um, to give an interview and, and to give a tour of the house. So I just want to show you guys what it's like inside these RVs. I hope you enjoy this video that I'm going to draw for you guys. And just remember, these people are people. Compassion and empathy is number one. And let's get into this video, man. L, don't forget, share the video, like it, and hit that subscribe if you want, man. If you if you enjoyed this kind of footage, hit that subscribe button. Uh, there's no pressure to do it, man. You know, I don't really care if you subscribe or not, but I just want this video to be out there. And peace and love, man, honestly. Guys, so I'm out here, man, and I'm getting you guys footage inside an RV. I'm getting you guys footage inside tours on what people are living like out here in these with these RVs. I have a lot of I have deep sympathy and empathy for these people, and um, you know I just want this to be shown that you know these people are living like this. So you got to be thankful for everything that you have, man. But I do have deep empathy and sympathy for homeless people. So. At that, I just want to show this. Look, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video um, inside the RV. All right, so yeah, so uh, when people live in these RVs, they're not homeless, they're houseless, yeah, correct? Because, you know, yeah, correct, because a lot of people, they just, they move into an RV, it's like a, it's mm -hmm. like a condo. A condo costs a hundred some thousand dollars. When these RVs is brand new, some of them 70,000, some of them 100,000. You got old ones and new ones. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's how you want to live, you know? Right. If you're trying to save some money, because Los Angeles is expensive, some people come out to Los Angeles and don't have no money, don't have you know, any people. You know? mm -hmm. So it's like some people come here to stack their money and get, and get on. Mm -hmm. you know, but some people that's living up in RVs, they have, I mean, the RVs is nice for them. You know, some of these, these some of their apartments. Some of their apartments. Yeah. And then, like, I like the fact that you touched on a lot of people move to RV. I mean, they moved to Los Angeles with no family like because this is a place for a lot of transplants like i'm not originally from los angeles but i moved here with no family you know so if i started struggling my only choice would be to live in one of these rvs or to live in my truck like i you know like i did for five years and you know so that's it's hard when you don't have somebody you could just move in with or close friends that you can move in with basically about money because you gotta make two three times the rent and you gotta have money for this and that so mm -hmm. Deposit. Yeah, deposit everything, mm -hmm. security, all that stuff, trash, everything, dog. Because if you got animals, cats. Mm -hmm. So this right here give you, let you build up a, you know what I mean, you set a goal a year or two, something to save all your money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And stack it up and just go and live life, you know? Some people, cars, everything. Nice. Some people that actually live in RVs, I got brand new Range Rovers and stuff like really? that. Really? You know nice. But at the same time, they work every day. But at the same time, they're saving money up, like to further something. You know? Like they mm -hmm. got business or something. But they need to put more. The business fell a little bit, but now they start to pick up. And they just move into RV just mm -hmm. to stack up their money to keep their business going. And, and would they live like in an RV along the street, or would they go to like an RV park? Like somebody with that, maybe a little bit more money. Or, sometimes, or, sometimes it may work out depending on the area that the RV's in. It may not Right. There's no choice but to go to RV park, or, you know. Mm -hmm. That's that's better. But you know, some people don't like to spend money out their pocket because they save it. Some people mm -hmm. they have to live like this because they who they is. Some people's crazy. Some people's not. Right. Some people, you know, what I'm saying you be sitting here talking to one person. Next thing you know, you go to the light, you come back, talk to another person. Just, talking you know, to 
different people uh, the psychosis of uh, some of the drugs yeah the drugs the, uh, the schizophrenia the schizophrenia that's mm -hmm. that you know what I mean Dis I mean resolve when it, you know what I mean like drugs and, and pressure everything come together some people lose their mind mm -hmm. and, and like your story like um, if you don't mind sharing uh, how long have you been out here and what, what's your goals to kind of get out of this situation and yeah. get up because I know it's hard it's, you know? it's hard I, you know I came out here Came back to California. I ain't been in California like four years. Mm -hmm. Commercial fisherman. I was in Oregon. Nice. Oregon. Blue collar. I wanted to to um, Las Vegas, Las Vegas and Dallas. Mm -hmm. and I came back home. I needed to come home with the ear. You know what I'm saying? Everything felt better here. Mm -hmm. The ocean, everything. Just you know, just I can breathe. So you know. What right. I mean? Everywhere else, I was like a fish out of water. And I worked everywhere. I went to to Insta work and blue collar everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know. Me too. You know, so you got you got to make it some kind of way. You got to make it some kind of way. You got to have faith in somebody. You know what I'm saying? Somebody upstairs that you got to have faith in. Mm -hmm. I always say, man, you know, give praise to the to the one that makes the ocean wave and the sun rays. You know, exactly. you got to get you got to have somebody up there, that's the Most High that you pray to, wherever that may be, because yeah. uh, sometimes you're flush and sometimes you're bust. And when you're bust, you never think you're gonna get back up again. But when you're flush, it never really seems that good, anyways. Yeah. You know, that's when. One of my favorite quotes right there from a, from a movie I like. Yes, but yeah, but yeah, man. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Joe. Joe, nice to meet you, man. You hey, man, thank you for uh, this thank interview. This is awesome, man. And uh, I'm glad that you said the words that you said because I think more people need to understand that you know this is uh, there's people here that work, you know, because yeah. people have a bad stigma of, uh, of homeless people and they talk down. Uh, they're just lazy. They're just this and that. But well, they say, well, they you know. Say about Jesus. Right, Jesus home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, and look what they did to him. You know, look what they did to him. So, you know, you, thousands of years later, he's he's that he's that guy. He's, he's that know. biggest inspiration in the world. Exactly, exactly. Man. So yeah, guys, this is um, this is real life out here, and these people are living this life. But you know, they also work, and there's people out here who have businesses and jobs, and they come here to save money. Okay. And what's your name again? Mario. Mario. All right. And Mario is going to show the inside of the RV. So you guys see that from the outside, all these RVs, but you guys never see the inside. Well, mine's kind of messed up right now, but ready to pick it up. Uh huh. I just got my, you know. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, hey, hey. So, it's all right. I, I got people right here. Another. Uh, people that live in the street, they just mm -hmm. come and, and you know, and they like, can I drop out my my clothing, like, you stash it here for mm -hmm. a minute, so they just come and put the stuff and they leave. Right. But uh, I'll be basically helping people out there too in the street that they don't have an RV. Mm -hmm. So that's the way uh, uh, you know I help them out right here. So you you invite other people that also come in here and and live with you in yeah. the RV that. They might not have a tent or an RV themselves yeah, for shelter. Yeah, they, they, they live in like straight on the streets. Mm -hmm. So they just, sometimes they come and crash out, go to sleep when they're tired. Mm -hmm. They come over and sleep, shower and whatever I, I, I have. If they need it, you know, there it is. They have it, it's yours, you know? Yeah. But uh, besides that, you know. It's not bad. It's, it's, uh, and there's a couch right here. Right. Yeah. And then that's where the driver's seat would have been right there. Yeah. And then you got your bike stuff that you can hang up your bike equipment, and yeah, it was my couch. Is this still a, a bathroom right here? Yeah, the bathroom. Yeah. Right. Kind of messy. Good. Yeah. You know, hell no, it's not messy. Oh no, it's not. It's not actually. No, it's clean, you know. Yeah. For somebody to take a shower. It's just there. yeah, it's, it's clean. It's just because the RV is old, but that's nice. Yep. And it has a little area so like you can fan it out. Right. Nice. Yeah, so that's cool. So there is there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, well, I like to have my my, my nice my little mirror. Clean, yeah. Hell yeah. I like to have my myself clean. So you a fan of the Mario Bros? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. Nice, uh, man. Yeah, guys. So this is what it looks like inside these RVs, and then this is the bed right here. This is the perfect place to have a bed. Similar to my truck, it's right next to the window. You know, the back of the beds because we have the bunks. And you know what? I actually have a mattress in my bed, uh, in my truck, that I'm gonna get rid of soon. So maybe I can stop by and, and give that mattress when I oh, when yeah. I'm ready to give it up. Yeah, sure. yeah. Cause I got a top bunk mattress that I don't even use. So yeah. And then yeah, there's 
Did you do that graffiti? Are you good at like artwork no, and stuff? No, or? No, it's the, the people that come here. They, uh huh. Some of the, uh, I don't like them graffiti myself, but yeah. Uh, I guess uh, she just went, went and did it, so uh, I'll have opinions later on. Nice, but, man. Like so, guys, yeah, uh, this is the inside of the RVs, what it looks like in here. It's pretty cool. Uh, the fact that you know they have shelter and the fact that this is actually better than some people's apartments that I've been into. So, you know, when you see these people, understand that they are people and they're human beings just like us and they have jobs, but they're just going through uh, financial hardship and this is the way for them to save up money so they can get that apartment, you know? And just because you're living in an apartment or a house, it doesn't make you bet any better than these people that live out here uh, in these RVs or the people that live in the tents in Skid Row, all right? Peace. All right, guys, so that was inside the trailer, uh, inside the RVs. As you guys saw, um, Mario and Joe, they were very hospitable and they showed me around inside, which was pretty dope, man. So look, the thing is, like I come out here and I want to show, uh, you know, stuff that you guys really don't see on your day-to-day -day life. And the thing is, you know, this is, you know, this is exactly what uh, people need to see. You know?